Hey Cancer. Hi Cancer. Welcome to SoapQuest Synergy. We are here to synergize with you for the month of June 2015. I'm Spence. I'm Hope. And we are hoping to do a reading for you that can bless your month and help you navigate whatever's going on with you. This month is going to be a good month for you. You've got uh, a lot of good things in the astrology that are going to help you out. We did a spread for you as always. Uh, we clean our cards and ask for a blessing for the greatest possible good for you, Cancer, for the month of June. And it's going to be a, an interesting month. I think you're going to go deep this month like most people are. It's just the time in our astrology to do that. Everybody's got to do it. Yes. You being such a deep well of emotion, I think that this is going to be a really deep month for you, don't you? Yes. I think so too. Mm -hmm. I know that it's all going to begin really, we've got two major grand fire trines. you got one at the beginning of the month and at the end of the month, which is really a lot about spirituality. And I think that's going to be what's going to happen for you. I think it's going to be an enlightening month for you, don't you think? Absolutely. And the key word that we have for you for this month is self-mastery. Yeah, this mastery, This is all baby. about you. Absolutely. Who are you? It's going to be your favorite saying? What? Have you met your own soul yet? Have you? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You're going to be on a self quest. You're going to be doing some deep diving. Self meaning wisdom. You're going to seek out some wisdom inside yourself this month, Cancer. And it's going to be good for you. By the end of the month, man, we see prosperity. Oh, this is a money month. This is a huge money month for yeah. Cancer. Yeah, I think yes. you're going to see it. Become, I think it's going to be coming in for you. The beginning of the month, June 2nd, we have a full moon in Sagittarius which is expansive and it, it culminates things that you've been working on previously. It sort of ends things. Full moons bring sort of the, the finality to things and the beginning of new things. So that's going to happen on the second, mm -hmm. right? And then we've got some other yes. things happening. And June 11th, important. Mercury is going to go direct. Woo -woo. I know. So that's time to take action. Yeah. Mercury retrograde uh, that went through June 11th since, since mid-May was, you know, it just makes us pause. Everything pause in communication in so many ways because things can get all haywire, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody experiences it. We're experiencing it. You can't, you can't avoid it. It's going really, to happen. It does. But it's not that big of a deal and it's going to go direct on the 11th. So I think for you guys, it's really going to help you open up emotionally. It's going to help you open up. Um, in your self-expression, which is something I think you need to do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. It's important. Then we have Neptune going retrograde on June twelfth. Going to stay there until November eighteenth. And Neptune's uh, Neptune's cool. Yeah. Neptune's interesting. He makes things interesting, mm -hmm. confusing for sure, dreamy, fantastical in some ways. Mm -hmm. It can be really inspiring though. Exactly. But it really makes you take a look at things and, and makes you wonder about what you want in your life. What are you dreaming about? You know, and what, what do you believe? Questions like that. Big stuff. Really important deep stuff. Exactly. <laughs> My little puppy muffin is clicky clacking yeah. across the floor if you can hear that. Sorry about that. Priya, you might see her, you never know. <laughs> she might decide to make a cameo. That's true. <laughs> she often does. She often does in her photo shoots. <laughs> All right. All right, and then back to your astrology. We've got Saturn entering into Scorpio June 14th through September 17th. Yeah, that's a great time for self expression, good time for true love. Yeah, yay! Saturn is the work planet, so it makes us work on things. And Scorpio is the deep, the deep dark, the life yeah. death, life cycle, the you know, the, the true circle of life kind of questions that we ask ourselves. You know, what am I here for? What do I believe in? What do I want? The hard stuff. The hard All questions. The hard stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Major so, self self reflection. Yeah. You know. So you're gonna be going inward. You're gonna yeah. be really going and looking deep. What do you love and value? Mm -hmm. What do you want to express? Mm -hmm. What are you really seeking out in your life? You're gonna be reflecting on a lot of things. Absolutely. Yeah. This month is a huge reflection month. It really is. Yeah. And then we've got a new moon in Gemini on June 16th, and that's major, right? It's new major. starts. It's huge. It's going to be a really good time. I think it's going to juice you up with some energy for 
about trying to see what's right. What, what's right here? We're trying to discern things, trying to figure out what you can trust, what you can believe in, who's on team cancer, you know, things like that. I think it's going to be an important time for you. What do you want? That's mm -hmm. going to be a huge thing. Huge. What do you want? Yeah. Not just what do you want for dinner. I'm talking what yeah. do you want for your legacy. Yeah. You know, that big. Yeah, like how will you be remembered? Exactly. Big. Yeah, it's, and remember, your keyword is self mastery. So I mean, you're learning about yourself. You are, and in, in a huge way, yeah. it's gonna be big. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good for you, and it's such a, a good money and love month for you. Mm -hmm. And once Mercury does go direct, you're gonna want to express yourself in pretty much every way, right? Very clear communication. Yeah. Make sure you're speaking so that people understand. Make sure they understand. That's very true. Yeah, you kind of want to get a little uh, feedback. You know, did, did you understand what I said? Yeah. Or, you know, that kind of thing. Try to, in your dynamics, and your relationship dynamics, make sure that you're clear um, so that, you know, you can, you can bring balance and healing mm -hmm. to, to, you know, win-win to, to every interaction that you have with everybody, right? Right. I think that's important. Exactly. Yeah. And Venus plays a huge role also this month. Venus brings a lot of positive energy to the to the sector of love and money. Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing. That's going to make you feel, I think, inspired, and I think it's going to make you have hope, and um, it's going to it's going to bring ideas for for what you can do to change those things up to make them better. You know, your relationships, your loves. It can bring new love if you're single. If you're married, it can really be kind of a resurgence. You know, you might feel a little bit, uh, I don't know, uh, reminiscent um, and sentimental, which you guys are, are wonderful at. You guys, you guys have so many gifts. You're really emotional people you are. and caring. Very romantic people. You're yeah. Very dedicated to your home and your family. Yeah. So Venus can have such a great effect on you guys, like no other, really. Mm -hmm. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you bring home a bouquet of flowers and make a great dinner and just make the small things in life, the little things, beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, you, you can really appreciate the, the little things in your life. You do that very well, Cancer. We like well, that. On the 20th, you've got Moon and Venus are going to couple on the 20th. Nice. That's financial gain. It is. Yes. Yeah. That's sweet right there. Yeah, I just saw that underneath the positive energy, and I was like, "Whoa!" I know, right? And the moon is really also about our intuition as well, so it can kind of open you up that way, mm -hmm. which can, in so many ways, you, you, if your wealth is in your health and your emotional health is really good, and your spiritual health is good, and you you're in alignment, right? And you feel you're feeling really good about everything you've reflected on through Mercury retrograde. It's gonna make. I think it's gonna make you open up your intuition, which can bring about opportunities for a financial gain. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, it kind of it's kind of your way to know. Oh, I should go there. That looks mm -hmm. like the right thing. Mm -hmm. Just double check because Neptune's in the mix, and things can get a little confusing. So just do a double check. But yeah, I think so too. And then Chiron. Chiron's oh, involved. Retrogrades on the twenty fourth. Yep. Chiron is the wounded healer. Yeah. Chiron makes us all go deep. Emotional truth. That's right. Emotional truth. And you guys are good at that. You guys are emotional masters. And this is about self-mastery for you. So you're going to, you know, it's funny, but we, we all go through stages where we, we, we kind of graduate like to the next level of emotional maturity, right? Yes. As we go through our life. So all of your partnerships, uh, friendships, and business and all the things that you do, you're trying to work out how to be uh, the master of your own emotional self because it's what you bring. And we need you. We need you, Cancer. You show us how to master emotions. It's what you do. It's it's what you're great at. So um, I think Chiron will help you go deep and, and go into your spirituality. And exactly. Really your intuition. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be turn on. You're going to be dreaming. Right, you might be, you might actually be somewhat psychic at this time too. Mm -hmm. Right, it can be a, a really amazing time for you to get these amazing insights. Yeah. So you never know. Interesting. Yeah. Leave us comments. Yeah, I'm please do. To hear about this. I know. 
Cancers have, have, a, have a tendency to be able to, to, to reach spirit in that way. So yeah, let us know if you're feeling, hearing, seeing anything that um, is, is enlightening you or giving you any kind of intuition. Exactly. And it's healing too. It's a healing time. It's a healing time to heal old wounds. Um, so, you know, any childhood wounds, things that you're working on, again, mastery, right? So don't fear it. No fear. No fear. No fear this month. Mm -mm. Go there. Dive deep into your emotional well and uh, go through the cleansing waters. Because mm -hmm. when you come up for air, I think you're just going to be wiser. Like, seriously, don't you? Yeah. You're on a self quest this month too. You're on a self quest. You're you're gonna you're going for wisdom at this month, uh, like like so many. On others. a subconscious level, on That's a very true. deep subconscious level, you need to believe in what you want to manifest this month. Yeah, that is absolutely yeah true. yeah. With your well, with your birthday coming up in the middle of the month, yeah. Father's Day. Yeah, Happy Father's Day to the fathers yes. out there. Yes. So you, you, you need to set your intentions, you need to lay your foundations, and you need to believe in what you want. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because what, you know, what do you believe? That's a huge question. I don't think we ask ourselves because that Because what you believe not. is what you manifest. That's right. Absolutely the case. So be careful what you're thinking. And, you know, focus your emotions. Ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? And what does it mean? And what is it trying to teach me? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, that's huge for you guys, I think. Mm -hmm. So spirituality is going to be huge for you guys. And I think that you are going to be manifesting some some major uh, money and, and positive energy and, and hopefully some really nice loving interactions with the people that you care about this month, yeah. Cancer. And we know you care more about your home and family than anything. So it's a great time for you to do that. Dive deep and give out that love. Just pour it out. <laughs> Fill everybody else's cups. All right, so we should, we're going to jump right in. We did a cleansing of the cards. We asked a blessing for the best possible outcome uh, for you to, have, to get a message that uh, can help move you forward in love and light for your month of June 2015. So shall we jump in? We shall. All right. We did a Kabbalistic Tree of Life spread for you. And I'll read the tarot for you. And then Hope is going to give you some oracle cards and a medicine card. And... Uh, hopefully that will help you this month in June. All right, so the, 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 the issue this month for you that you're going to be working on cancer is the sun. It's yourself. It's yourself. It's your bright light. It's what you bring to the table every day, every week, this month. And the sun brings light, sheds light on, on yourself, on the things that you're trying to work out in your life. And it brings you energy. And you guys might be tired right now because you're a few weeks away from your solar return. So you're kind of kind of at the end, end of, of your, whew, your energy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so the sun will help you out with that. And you know, you've got a lot of fire in the month as well. And the fi and fire will bring energy as well. But if you're feeling really tired and you need to take some time for some healing, then know this about yourself and take some time. All right, take some time to yourself and heal. Um, and then you can bring your sun energy back out into your home and family with all your friends and in your workplace. So the sun, I think, is going to be a good blessing for you this mm -hmm. month. This is about you this month, about you going deep, about learning about yourself and mastering. Yeah. Mastering yourself, right? Yourself. So this is the issue, and this is the form that your issue is taking, which is the chariot. And the chariot is what do I want, where am I going, what decisions do I need to make. This is a card of will, willpower. It's willpower. You're sitting almost like on a throne and you have, it's almost like there's a divergent paths and you can choose which way you want to go. So you want to use this sun energy to choose wisely to make the decision that you're trying to make. Mm -hmm. I mean, Hope said that you're reflecting on your, your inner truth and what you want for your legacy. Yeah. That's the biggest question we can ask, right? That's about our soul path. That's our soul path. It really, really is. Mm -hmm. And so you want to you wanna bring this sun energy and you want to use the chariot to move yourself forward. 
with using your will in a way that, that is, is positive. It brings about a positive change in your life. And sometimes we have to choose between two paths. And that can always be hard. I think that's hard for anybody, don't you think? Mm -hmm. But you know, it really teaches us what we love and value, how to prioritize. And so I think this is going to be about you making a choice about what you're prioritizing right now. And maybe the balance, maybe the balance of home and family and work and your career because this is a money month for you. It can be a month of great abundance for you. So I think you're going to balance. You're going to try to balance both, don't you think? Yeah. I really do. Yeah. I don't know. Do you see anything that in, career, in there? Yeah. yeah. Cuz the chariot the chariot can mean so very many things. So mm -hmm. you have to ask yourself, where is your chariot driving you? Yeah. You know? Mhm. Mm I think that that's probably what you need to know. I mean, would you notice that the cancer sign is right there too? There you go. Uh, See? Speak it to you. It is. Where are you driving? Yeah. What's driving you? These are some questions you, you need to ask yourself this month, cancer. You All right. To believe what you want to manifest. I mean, that's that's probably what that's speaking to. I, I think so too. What do you want to manifest? Yeah. You know? It's on a big scale. It really yeah. is. And it's it begins internally so that it can manifest externally. Mm -hmm. So take some moments to yourself. You guys do that anyway, and you need to do that, um, you know, to, to deal with your emotions of the day. You know, you feel everything. Some of you are em empaths, mm -hmm. like hope, yeah. and you might be honing in on that skill this month. Yeah, so be very careful. Yeah, talk about that. Cause Make sure you ground yourself. Yeah, if you're going, if you're, if you're experiencing, um, you know, feelings and, and emotions that are not yours, you need to ground yourself and you need to protect yourself. Kind of block. Yeah, I suggest uh, doing some research on, on empaths. Um, yeah. You don't. You don't want to get hurt. Yeah, because you guys feel everything, and you're, you're super very sensitive. emotional people to begin with. Yeah, and if you start sucking in and absorbing everybody's emotions around you, that can be detrimental to your health. And you need to be keep your health and well-being okay. If you're starting to get too tired, check yourself. Relax. Yeah. You know, ground yourself. Meditate. Right. It's you important. Should, you are mastering that. You're learning that. You're learning, you know, uh, what emotions are too negative based and, and how, to, how to kind of redirect that into something positive, right? Yeah. But the the month looks positive. The month looks very positive. So. Yeah. You just have to kind of go through it and do the work. And you can. You can and you will. Your feelings this month are the king of cups. This is you. This is the, the king of cups. He's the king of emotion. He's the master of, of emotion. Whether you're male or female, this is really about understanding yourself and your power your emotional power in the world and what you're giving out, what you're putting out, um, again, what you're manifesting. And remember, what you, what you think and what you believe is what you achieve. So hone in your emotions and, and be the king. The king is mature thinking, right? You've, you've gone from the page to the knight to the king. So this is emotional maturity. And so you're feeling this way this month, like you're truly trying to make some emotionally mature decisions, I think. Mm -hmm. Right? I think that yeah. that's probably coming something. into yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. this is, you got the sun, this issue. So this is you. This is you figuring out how to make the, the mature decisions that you need to make, the emotional decisions and the intuitive decisions um, to take this chariot and move you forward. Because you know it's a forward thinking time, June is, and then especially around the 16th with the new moon in Gemini, too, which is going to give you serious mental clarity. So you're going to be able to understand what you're trying to deal with, and it's going to help you express it as well and communicate it to your friends and your family and, and to anyone you come in contact with. So that's that's good. That's major. That's that's a huge thing, and that's and that's I think that's going to really benefit you throughout the month. 
And now, Cancer, what you're thinking about this month, I think this is what you're going to have kind of in your mindset, is the Eight of Pentacles. Ah. And we were saying money. Finances yes. could be coming in this month. I think you're going to be building a nest egg a little bit, maybe. Mm -hmm. This is good work. Doing something that you're very proud of. Yeah. You know, doing something that you've taken the time to do. That's right. That you enjoy doing. Yeah, this is, I, I call this card personal investment. So, you know, each one of these coins represents things you've been working on for a while and honing your craft. Yeah. So, whatever it is that you're trying to make decisions about this month, if it has to do with your career, I think that you're going to f go inward and, and ask yourself this question. What do I love to do? Yeah. What am I good at? Mm -hmm. what, what, how can I change something in my life, perhaps make a decision that leads me on a path to do the kind of work that I love to do? That's major. I mean, we should all try yeah. to do that, right? That's a good life lesson for everybody. And I think you're going to be trying to learn that lesson this month, too. Is what, what are you personally invested in? What has your heart um, that makes you proud, right? And that makes you want to share it with the world. Because it's time to maybe to take, to take an investment and put that investment in yourself. It's really time to invest in yourself. You've got this amazing sun energy to do that this month. So it's really time to invest in yourself. And you're really learning how to do that and how to do that masterfully. Okay, so what's working for you this month is you have the Six of Cups. And for you this month, I don't know, I think, I think this is about... Reflecting on the past. It is. Yeah, I think it's about taking stock. I, I think it's about um, looking at your childhood and looking at... Lessons learned. Yeah. Lessons yeah. already learned. And, and how you got here. Yeah. How you became the king. How, you, how you've come from your childhood and all the, the lessons that you had to learn to become the, into this kind of emotional maturity. Mm -hmm. So... Whatever this is about for you, um, you may be reminiscent. It could represent someone from the past coming back into your life, an old friend that you should contact. Um, or perhaps you have an idea to partner with someone that you worked with in the past or to call an old boss and, 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 and maybe uh, you know, get an opportunity for, for new financial abundance, work that you love doing. Um, from someone from the past. So this has a, a tendency to mean that we're looking at the past for a reason. There's a lesson there that we're looking at. Um, or we are reflecting on the lessons that we've learned in the past that have brought us to where we are today. Yeah. If yeah. You know, I, mean that. I think so too. I really do. I agree. And, and you can do that this month. You can do that with serious self-empowerment mm -hmm. and self-reflection. And that can be it, it, it is what is working for you this month. So do that. Do some of that. Uh, especially in the beginning of the month, too, through, uh, through Mercury Retrograde, because we're all doing that. We're all going back and re-looking at things. And and it, it's a good time for you to do that. That's a good thing for you, Cancer. I think it's it's something you need to do. And if there's anything that you need to let go of over the past, that is working for you, too. Okay? So that's a good thing. Okay, and then a challenge that they have for the month is the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords is really about, it's possible, it's, a, it's some type of possible loss, it can be. Uh, it can mean that something is being taken away. Now this doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing, but it can be challenging. Um, because you guys are sentimental, you might have trouble letting go of certain things. So if your challenge is that you have to let go of something that's leaving your life, then try to do that with some emotional uh, maturity. Yeah, and perspective. Yeah. You know, uh, wisdom. See the wisdom. Yeah, in it. use your reflection on what you've learned in the past. Yeah. To let go if you need yeah. to. 
if you do. It's possible that you may, um, because the Seven of Swords can mean that. And it also is saying being mindful of the things in your home and family. Um, uh, it's time to protect your home and family as well uh, from any outside influence that could be disruptive. So um, just be mindful of things. Uh, Neptune can be nebulous and confusing, and uh, you want to be, be mindful of who's in your periphery and who's having a negative influence, who's having positive influence. And make sure that nothing's being taken from you that's yours. So stand up for yourself and stand your ground. And we also pulled that card too. So let, let's, let's move to the, this part of your month. Okay, first of all, Cancer, what you do know about yourself that you're working on this month is about a decision. And we, we saw that also with the chariot. So it also yeah. is in the two of swords. And sometimes this is about two, it's about our thoughts. So swords are about our thoughts. It's about intellect. It's about, um, it's, it's about truth. It, and it's about speaking. It's about communication. So you might have, something might be at cross purposes in your life. And you need to figure out which path you need to take uh, that's for your best benefit, for your soul growth and for your soul path. So this is, it's a decision-making time, I think, for them, too. And this, this particular card shows the girl walking on a tightrope. Tightrope over an ocean. Yeah. Actually, like a waterfall. Yeah. So it's, it's a big decision. I think so, too. Don't, not, not one to be taken lightly. Right. Yeah. And, and I think that you, if, if you're feeling like you're on a tightrope about anything and you're stressing out, <laughs> Um, this just could be this just oh there's so much to think about and I can't make a decision this just could mean stress but if it does you know that you're stressed this is what you know about yourself this month you know you need to make the decision so make it it's not a light one it, it's a difficult decision perhaps but you can do it um, the water underneath her feet would scare an air sign <laughs> it would scare an air sign maybe but you're a water sign you know what, what that water holds for you. You've been in the depth of the ocean and you've reflected on it. Now you just have to make the decision and move forward. That's what you need to do, okay? So you know that about yourself this month. So do that work, okay, Cancer? Because you've got, you've got the maturity, the, the high thinking to do that this month. All right, and what you need to know about yourself this month, what you need to learn about yourself this month is the seven of wands. The Seven of Wands. This is standing in your truth. Standing your ground. It is. With confidence. Yeah. So if you have anything to say, then you need to say it. And you need to say it like the King of Cups, lovingly. Yes. With love and light and caring. You are one of the most caring and sensitive signs of the Zodiac, if not the most. So don't get... Um, overly sensitive and moody if someone questions or criticizes you about some of the decisions you're making. Instead, stand your ground and say, I got this. Mm -hmm. I got this. I'm the, I'm, the king. I'm the king of cups. I got this. Every day we have little challenges, you know, but I mean, if somebody tries to challenge you on this big decision that you have to make, stand your ground. Yeah. Know who you are. Do That's it right. with confidence. Yeah, bring this king energy. Absolutely. Definitely. I think so, too. I really do. In love. In love. Absolutely. Yeah, this is big love. This is big and wise love. So bring that love to every single one of your interactions this month, if you can, you know? All right. So the advice we have for you this month, uh, best advice, the thing that you want to focus on is the Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. The Queen of Pentacles, Yay. which you know very well. Mm -hmm. You are the Queen of Pentacles as well. Queen of Pentacles is grounded. Yeah. Very she, earthy. She is. And she knows how to make wise decisions for her homestead, uh, her home and hearth. She's protective and she's a builder. She builds things. She's a bridge builder as well. So if it's an emotional thing, if it's inner, inner resources, if you're building your self-esteem, for instance, mm -hmm. then build that with, with love and kindness to self. Mm -hmm. 
uh, as well, okay? And it doesn't necessarily mean that this is just for, for the female cancers out there. This is male or female, but it's, this is the, um, the more intuitive side of self that needs to work on what you're manifesting in the outer world and doing it wisely. Taking yeah. things, I think, step by step, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's using your energy in a really smart way to manifest by goal setting, right? I mean, earth, earth signs know how to work the path. They know how to lay the papers one by one by one to get to the goal. So this is our advice for you this month. This is mm -hmm. goal setting, and it's the queen of pentacles. This is financial abundance. You guys have something that you can really build, you know? And that feminine side of your brain, that more right side of your brain, tells you to get creative about it. You know, bring what you care about, the thing, the, your personal investment, to what you're trying to build, and it will be abundant. Yeah. It really will. And, and this, is, this is what you need to know this month, is that you can create your legacy. You can, this is a, a manifestation time for you to begin your legacy. And next month, or maybe even at the end of this month for some of you, and into next month, is your birth month, your solar return. So it's going to be time for you guys to make your three birthday wishes and manifest, manifest. So start thinking about what you want to do, because it's going to be abundant. It is. Okay? Seriously. So, go cancer. <laughs> okay, and what's sort of under the surface that you might not be aware of, which is perfectly apropos, you got the hermit. And the hermit is about going inside of self. The hermit is about seeking one's own counsel. Spending some time alone when need be. And allowing wisdom to come in. It's prayer, it's meditation, it's solace, it's taking a respite and diving into your private thoughts and letting them teach you and guide you so that you can move forward in the most loving way to bring about the prosperity that you're trying to build for your home and family. Because that's what you're about. You are about building a legacy. You really are, and you try to do it in a caring way. So I would say that if you're feeling at all emotionally imbalanced this month, and maybe even volatile, let's say the fire energy gets you fired up and you are feeling volatile, like you just want to blah, <laughs> um, take a step back, right? Mm -hmm. Go into hermit mode. Mm -hmm. The hermit carries the light, a lantern, the light of truth and the light of enlightenment of guidance from source, God consciousness, from the universe. And you have the ability to do that this month. You have the ability to really gain insight, mm -hmm. don't they? Yeah. Ser serious spiritual intuitive insight this month. So use this wisely because it's going to be like under the surface throughout your whole month. Like you said, subconscious. Mm -hmm. Subconscious. Yeah. yeah. So this is allowing yourself to do that. And try maybe writing in a dream journal. I think you guys are going to be dreaming a lot. I think you're going to be getting insights. And you know, you might just have some really, really amazingly brilliant insights this month. So if you go into hermit mode, even five minutes a day, especially like you busy moms, you busy dads that are in traffic, and spend that time, put on some really nice soothing music in the car. If that's the only alone time you get is in the car, um, do, you know, listen to something that inspires you, calms you down, helps you ground, Exactly. like Hope said, and helps you use this energy, the Queen of Pentacles energy, because if you can get to that nice, peaceful place within yourself, then you can get back out into your work a day and be effective. Mm -hmm. Right? Really effective. I think that's going to help you out this month. I really do, Cancer. And your karmic life lesson this month that you're going to work on, the goal of your month, one of the best cards in the deck, you got the Ten of Cups. Yeah. This is emotional fulfillment. This is cups that runneth over. This is being grateful for your home, your family, your friends. This is 
having, you know, breaking bread with the people you care about. This is about really feeling at home in every way. It's about feeling at home within yourself. It's a feeling at home, you know, at night in your comfy pajamas when you're sitting there going, you know, this is the life. This is the life. You can really have moments this month and you should take those moments. If Trust me, if you're in moments where you're like, oh, I can't take it anymore and I don't know what to do and I'm trying to decide how to move forward and I'm not sure who's on Team Cancer, and I'm not sure I'm doing the work I want to do. If you're having questions about decisions that you're making and you're walking on a tightrope, stop. Just stop for a moment. Be the hermit in your mind and in your spirit. Yeah. yeah. Take that pause. Like Click. Remember the movie Click? I don't know why that movie just came to my head where he pauses his life. <laughs> Do you ever see them? He pauses his life and he puts on pause. So think about that. I want, I want you to try to take that pause if you're feeling that volatility that's coming up and you're getting overly sensitive, maybe touchy, maybe moody, right? And you don't want to feel that way. You want to feel this way. So stop and go into this energy, into this mindset, into this mode and think about all the blessings in your life and say, you know, my cup runneth over. I have so many things to be so grateful for and say them say them to your family mm -hmm. give out some hugs <laughs> go to the go to the store you guys are romantic go to the store and buy the perfect card for your spouse or your beloved and just say what you want to say be sweet do that instead you know instead of getting down on things take a moment to just center yourself and and enjoy enjoy think about that word the root word it's enjoy right you want to take the joy within you and then bring it without into your life and share the love this is about sharing the love and this is about long-term happiness this is about building a future that makes you feel right at home okay all right now let's get to your oracle medicine Yes, your oracles are very interesting. Yeah. First oracle we have for you is angel therapy. It's a good one. Angel therapy. It is Archangel Raphael. The, give healer. Your, the healer. The healer. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. I love that. That's beautiful. So maybe pray, right? And if you yeah. don't pray, Manifest. Use your mindset to think mm -hmm. positive. They got your back. Yeah. They got your back. Give your cares and worries to us angels. Yeah. And to us angels. And call on Raphael and say, please, bring me the healing I need, whether it's the healing of yeah. my scattered mind or the healing of my worried heart, whatever it might be. And then you have the healer. <laughs> There's a message, message, message. Yes. Heal, heal, heal. There you go. Wow. Spirituality, healing, intuition, nice, okay. The card says, I am loving and compassionate and able to bring healing to others. Wow, see? That's nice, you've got bear. Oh, I like that, bear. Mm -hmm. Bear medicine. Dreamy. It is a good idea to, 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 to keep a journal on your yeah. dreams this month. You're gonna be getting stuff. Your subconscious is really gonna be, this is really working on your subconscious this yeah. as well. Yeah. You know? Listen to yourself. Yeah. Listen Hermit. to your intuition. Listen. Yeah. 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 There's healing to be done here. There's healing to be done. Absolutely. It's good work. And then you have independent. Love. Love. You, there's something you need to say. Say it with love. King of Cups. Yeah. You are, you're powerful, Cancer, and we need you. You're here to teach us how to master our emotions, you know? And what so does that say for independent? Uh, it says your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. Okay, see that? Mm -hmm. Know thyself. Mm -hmm. Self-mastery. 
An unexamined life is not worth living. Remember that? I can't remember if it's Plato or Aristotle because I always get those two confused. <laughs> I'm a nut, crazy nut for philosophy, but I studied them both at the same time, so I never remember. Somebody write a comment, please, and, and clarify that for all the cancers out there. But it's a light, an unexamined life is not worth living. So examine and and take stock, and it will bring healing. Well, for your final card tonight, today, we have Dragonfly, and it's your medicine card. And uh, Dragonfly is the essence of winds and of winds of change. So whatever that choice is, it's it's deep. It's deep. And it can really change things for the better. Woo Messages of Thank wisdom God. and enlightenment. Absolutely. Big. Big. Dive in. Dive in.